Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and stick channel ATC. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install Debian 10.4 LXDE Linux operating system inside UTM. You can also ins install the uh, Debian 10.4 XFCE, uh, but the processors are just same. So it's going to be a completely a short video you can just do it in like five to ten minutes and it's so easy you can just uh, install and configure the virtual machine in just two to three clicks so without any further ado let's get started so let me share my screen now so here as you can see what you need to do is go to safari and click on utm download so after clicking on that you should go to mac.getutm.app and that will be the first uh, link and just go ahead and click on download don't click on the mac app store because you need to pay uh, nine nine dollars as you can see okay it's ten dollars you need to pay ten dollars to get the app from the app store so i don't recommend that so that's why you have to go ahead and download it from the safari then after downloading you should see something like this after opening so what here is starting to do is just drag this icon to the applications folder so i've actually already done that click on uh, you know if you see anything like this click on stop because it's already right there then after opening it you should see a home uh, as you can see wait let me just relaunch the utm so as you should see like uh, this home screen and then you should click on create new virtual machine click on uh download pre-built from utm gallery then go ahead and uh, select which one you want either you want xfce or lxde so as i said i'm going to be installing lxde in this video now after that go ahead and click on open in utm just click on allow if you see any pro uh, prompt and then if you click on cancel and close that as you can see here our virtual machine is being directly installed inside utm and it's also being configured or if you want to do it more kind of manually you can just download this utm file dot utm file so after you double click that it will automatically open in utm and import but here it's doing the next level thing which is downloading inside the utm and also configuring it so you don't need to do any more stuff so while it's downloading you can also check the other operating system that utm has like uh, arch linux and also i've made a previous video how you can install mac os 9 on an apple silicon mac you can just go ahead and check that out or you can just uh, you know press up right there and then also you are having react os sun solaris and ubuntu also i've got some uh, older windows operating systems like windows 7 and windows xp so it can run arm 64 x64 and some kind of sparc and also ppc or power pc based operating systems so as you can see it's telling three minutes it depends on your internet speed and your computer speed so let me meet you after it's done so here as you can see our virtual machine has been downloaded the debian arm lxde so here you have some instructions default user slash pass debian root user slash password uh password root slash password so the default user is the username is debian and the password is debian you can change that later in the settings after logging in and also the root user and the password is root and password so here uh, they have given the root password username and password now you just need to click the play button and your virtual machine will start so let me just full screen it and afterward you might see this screen so here it's telling you to boot where should he boot this is the bios of the linux you need to click on debian gnu slash linux just press enter and after some time you should see this blinking cursor and here as you can see the login prompt so as a, as they said d e b i a n debian is the username i think i have typed that wrong d E B I A N Debian login. So yeah, now we have login to the default user. As you can see, it's not much to do here. 
so here is like the basic you know the default which you get get with LXDE the default thing you can also tweak this a little bit and do some kind of stuff here so it's a kind of a minimal operating systems in case you have an older computer so let me just close that so let's explore here in the accessories first you have got character map clip it discs calculator image viewer mouse pad and screenshot then x archive in the debian you have got applica applications accessibility editors i don't know what is that x edit what is this uh, i don't know what is this if you guys know what is x edit you can just comment down below then here you are having system tools sound and video office so you have got the liber office base calculator draw it's uh, kind of like a microsoft office but it's open source and free to download so like it's similar to excel and you can do like your productivity stuff here okay let me just close that okay here we are having the templates and that all so as you can see the screen resolution is not uh, that great i think they have installed the tools but it's still not working that great let me just minimize and maximize that again okay it's even smaller now so let me just wait a minute okay now maximize it and i don't know why it's not changing right there so yeah that's it okay it got a little bit bigger then in the internet you are having firefox esr i think that's a different kind of light version of firefox i don't know then office sound and video you are having basic media player system tools this is like the settings and the, the terminal and then you are having the preferences like the settings and then you are having run uh, similar to windows cancel and yeah so here it's kind of fully basic you can also you know just use this as you can see it's fully basic and i think this operating system was i think first like uh, used in raspberry pi even and yeah, it's kind of fully basic uh yeah that's it for this video then so if this video gets like uh i don't know like even 10 likes i would like to create another video how you can create your own uh linux operating system like from not from like scratch like you'll be having a terminal we'll be installing open box then some icon packs uh you know like uh, wallpapers taskbar docs and we'll be tweaking some stuff in so that's it for this video thanks for watching make sure to like share and subscribe and i'll meet i'll meet you in my next video Bye.